welcome to sweety speaks official youtube channel today's topic is pack arrays in system very log this is how pack arrays look inside the memory let's first see the key features the first feature is that dimensions are declared before the identifier name what do i mean by this data underscore mem is the identifier name and if you check dimensions 3 down to 0 7 down to 0 are declared before this identifier name the second point is they are guaranteed to be represented as contiguous set of bits if you see this entire array is of 32 bits and this is how it is represented inside the memory as a contiguous set of bits. The third point is pack arrays can only be made of single bit types. Which are the single bit types? They are the data types whose size is by default one bit. Example is bit, logic, reg, wire. And packed arrays can also be made up of other packed arrays. The next point is that they cannot be made of data types which have predefined widths. Example is byte, short int, int, long int, integer. So even if you don't explicitly specify any width of byte, the default width is 8. It's not single bit. Similarly, for short int, it's 16 bit, int, integer, 32 bit, long int, 64 bit. So these data types can't be used for packed arrays. The next point is what will happen if the packed array is signed. Here is what will happen. The array as a single vector will be considered as signed. It means that entire 32 bit array will be signed. The individual elements of the array will be unsigned unless they are declared as signed. What do I mean by this? So this array consists of four elements. Data mem 0, data mem 1, data mem 2, data mem 3. These individual elements are unsigned unless you are explicitly declaring them as signed. The next point is that part select of the packed array shall be unsigned. What do I mean by part select? Say I just want to know what is bit 0, just this bit. So this part select is by default unsigned. What are advantages? One major advantage is efficient use of memory because they are represented as contiguous set of bits. Now let's see some operations on these packed arrays. For this I have taken two 8-bit arrays A and B. These are some operations which we can do. First is to check the size of array. We have inbuilt method called dollar $size. Second is we can initialize the array. This is an example how you can initialize. Third is if you want to copy one array into another. So I want to copy the value of B to A. So I'll just write A equal to B. Next is slicing. Say I just want to copy any one bit from A to any one bit of B. So this is how I can do A of I equal to B of J. Comparison. If I want to check whether these arrays are equal or not equal or particular path select of the arrays are equal or not equal. So I can use equality operators. I hope with this video your point of view on packed arrays is clear now. In the next lecture, we are going to see some examples on these packed arrays. To stay tuned, please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Thank you.